بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like to welcome you to the first video of the Quran Alive series uh, We start off today with an introduction to Arabic grammar So starting off, Arabic grammar would be translated as النحو النحو Literally means the way but in terms of translation, that is how we would translate Arabic grammar. The first question would be, what is a nahu? Uh, the best way to explain it would be via two examples. So we have two sentences on the screen. The first sentence reads, Nasara Zaydun Sadiqan. Nasara Zaydun Sadiqan. And the second sentence reads, Nasara Zaydan Sadiqun Nasara Zaydan Sadiqun So the two sentences are very similar uh, The word Nasara Nasara means helped The word Zaydun means Zayd The name Zayd And Sadiq Sadiq is the name Sadiq I'd like you to pause the video And take a moment And translate the two sentences Okay So the translation of the first sentence, Nasara Zaydun Sadiqan, is Zayd helped Sadiq. Zayd helped Sadiq. The translation of the second sentence, Nasara Zaydan Sadiqun, is in fact Sadiq helped Zayd. Why is this? If we look closely at the two sentences, we will see in the first sentence that the word Zayd, Nasara Zaydun, ends with an un. The second word sadiqan ends with an an. In the second sentence the word zaydan ends with an an whereas this time the word sadiq ends with an un sadiqun. Now one of the rules in Arabic in terms of these two examples is that the word with un will be the subject or the doer of the action. So in the first sentence the subject the doer will be zayd. In the second sentence, the subject duo will be Sadiq, just because of the Un. And the An would be the object or the done upon in the sentence. So in the first sentence, it would be Sadiq, and the second sentence, it would be Zaid. So in fact, in Arabic, we don't rely on sequencing to know, in this example, who did the action and who was the action done to. In fact, one could say for the first sentence, Nasara Zaidun Sadiqan. You could say Nasara Sadiqan Zaydun. Again, Zayd would have the un sound, therefore Zayd to translate as Zayd helped Sadiq. You could say Sadiqan Nasara Zaydun. You could say Zaydun Nasara Sadiqan. All of these will have effectively the same meaning, meaning Zayd helped Sadiq. So that's just an example of what Nahu is. In terms of a definition, Nahu would be a study of the ending vowel. In other words, what is the the vowel on the last letter or the combination at the end of the, a word? In this case, the un and the an. The study of the end vowels and these end vowels would indicate the meaning or the role of a word in a sentence. So this is a brief introduction to what is Nahu.